All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Rivals of Ixlon draft here on Magic Online. Beginning of each upkeep, if you lost life, put a 1-1 counter on this guy. When it dies, you gain life equal its toughness. That's actually fine. I'm not super impressed by this guy, but it's not terrible. Majestic Heliopterist is pretty good, but I don't even know if you want to be green, or if you don't, if you want to be white in the dinosaur deck, you might just want to be black or uh, red green. This guy's a reasonable pirate. Glorifier is pretty good. It might just be Paladin. Like, this guy can get pretty big. And if you're using damage base removal, it might just get out of hand. I don't know. I think we can probably grab this guy and just try it out. I do like black white vampires. So maybe this, maybe one of these tables. Probably not, but we'll see. That was a very white pack. You are not wrong. <laughs> Raging Regisaur is great. Uh, Sky Marcher goes better with our first pick. Oh, man. Is this card just too good? Is this just like the perfect pick right here? Do we just take this guy? I feel like we do. This is if you lost life. Like, I don't even want to lose life. I'm just going to take the Raging Regisaur. Plus, we got past it. That's a pretty good sign, right? Hunt the Week is pretty good. Forerunner of the Heralds is probably one of the better Merfolk if you're Merfolk because you just search for your best Merfolk. And also, this guy just gets bigger. Uh, Storm the Vault, don't care. Freebooter, don't care. Zealot is good, and it goes very well with uh, Paladin of Atonement, but I think I'd rather just take the Hunt the Week and, and stick with the Regisaur over the over the Paladin. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go Hunt the Week here. Aggressive Urge is fine. This pack is pretty boring, though. Even this guy's not great. You would forerunner there. You would you would go first pick vampire, second pick dinosaur, third pick merfolk. That seems a little sketchy. I think it's just aggressive urge here. Could also be just three three for three if we attack with a guy, which seems fine. Could also be just fanatical firebrand. No dinosaurs in this pack, obviously, except for this one, which we're probably not taking, so... I think we're just taking Aggressive Urge here. I'm not thrilled by it, but it is what it is. I like Shake the Foundation. Murpho goes to the dino. Yeah, I guess that's that's true, but... I don't know. I feel like you get... I just get a bad feeling when you mix all of these different... Uh, C red is a beating. Interesting opinion. Interesting. Let's we'll see if it tables. I wonder if it will. I'm going to take Shake the Foundations because this card's actually also pretty good. Wow, another Forerunner of the Heralds. That's interesting. Two two drops, one for Pirates, one for Merfolk. They both have their perks. I'm just going to take the Forerunner of the Heralds here. That's a pretty interesting sign. This is an interesting deck so far. I 
It's also whenever a merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, not when you cast another merfolk. Wow, that is a late strength of the pack. I mean, it's 100% strength of the pack. It's not frilled death spitter. It might be overgrown armasaur, but I think strength is just so much better. Yeah, I'm just going to take this and not look back. Uh, Jade Bear? Eh, Frill Despot is actually fine. Yeah, that's a good dude. It survives all the one damage things, and it also is a great target for Raging Regisaur and Shake the Foundation. The horse tribe is pretty weak. Good call, standard beat. Good call. Cannot argue with that. This guy is fine. I wonder if we can just splash the Majestic Helioptorus. I don't see a way to do it right now, but I think it's better than the rest. I also think Hardy Veteran's probably a good option, too. Having an early two drop uh, is pretty reasonable, especially one that survives Shake the Foundations. Yeah, I'm just going to take the two drop here. Eh. Guy's fine. Other two drops? I'll just take the three drop, I guess. I don't actually hate this deck so far. I don't have the Forerunner on the sideboard. I do not foresee that being the play anytime soon. Oh, another Swaggering Corsair. Strider Harness, sure. Sun Crested Pterodon dot deck over here. Mike has gone to bed. Oh, oh, Crested Herd Caller. That's where you want to be. That's where we want to be. I will take this guy. What's Pirate's Pillage? Uh, okay, it's the uh, one that... No, I'll take Overgrown Armasaur. That seems fine. Swift Warden's also pretty good. <laughs> it actually might just be Swift Warden. 3-3 with Flash that uh, gives another Merfolk that we don't even control. Hexproof. That's... I like this guy a lot, though. Like I think this guy's actually very good, especially when we have... Yeah, I'm going to take the Armasaur here. I think it's better in our deck. We are passing a lot of Silvergill Adepts. I think that's two Silvergill Adepts. That's pretty bad. Is it just Crown here? Crown on this guy is really good. You get a 1-1 one, one and you get a 7-4 uh, seven, seven, first uh, trample. <laughs> it's not terrible. I also just like the 2-drop. Might just be the green two drop. Oh, needle tooth raptor! Needle tooth raptor is insane. 
Yeah, this card's bonkers. I mean, I think the Thrashing Brontodon is also great, but this card just is... If you have a way to consistently ping this guy like a Raging Regisaur, it's just insane. Yeah, that's really good. Another Hunt the Week. Yes, please. Okay. Now we can take this crown. Another Shake the Foundations. Ooh, I don't hate having two, especially when we have things like Needle Tooth Raptor, Armasaur, this guy. Yes, Dino Forerunner is definitely what we're looking for here. Someone definitely wrecked us with the uh, Dino Forerunner and... Um, Needle Tooth Raptor the other day, they just every time they played a dinosaur, they dealt like six damage. We had an Azor. We actually couldn't play the Azor because they had Needle Tooth Raptor and Forerunner out. So they would go play a dinosaur, one damage to everything. Needle Tooth Raptor, five more damage to your Azor. And I was like, all right, well, that's pretty good. I like Naturalize a lot, so I'm going to take that. Eh, it's just a dinosaur. Firebrand's also fine. I can see cutting one Corsair for the Freldback just because it's more on it's more on brand. Yeah, I like Firebrand a lot. I think it's better than I initially gave it credit for. Um, I'm just not excited about it. But that is, that is to say, if I do get another Firebrand, I will definitely take one and probably play one if I have the opportunity to do so. Mm. I think Death Spitter's probably better than the other... Actually, it's probably just better than Frillback. Double Despiter seems good when we have sh double shake the foundations. Wow, Silvergill Adup came back? All right, I'll just take that. I'm not going to play Jade Rain, Jade Jade guy. What? This is the... In Look how late this Jungleborn Pioneer is. There's literally no one in, in Merfolk, apparently. Hey, Naturalize came back. Wow. Silvergill Adup and Jungleborn Pioneers came back. That is unbelievable. Our deck actually looks great right now. What can we open here? Registrar Alpha. Hmm. Vance's Blasting Cannons. Dinosaur Stampede, is that good for us? Maybe. Is Suncrown Hunters better than Vance's Blasting Cannons? Am I underestimating Mutiny? Do you guys think Mutiny is better than I than I do? I feel like it's Suncrown Hunters, but I I like this and this in our deck. I think it might be might be hunters. Oh, 
Oh, snapping sail back? That's exactly what we want. Nathan, have, did you send me your deck? Have I seen the deck you played? I'm going to take sail back. That card is amazing. Especially with double shake the foundations and a raging registrar in our deck. Uh, I think Dreadmaw in general is better than Suncrown Hunters, but in the deck where we have double shake the foundations and uh, consistent ways to ping it, I think it, this might be the deck that's perfect for Suncrown Hunters. So I think we're just taking this. Like, we can actually take this guy out and bring in the frill back. So now we're just more... Like, now we just have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another dinosaur. I would definitely play your list, Nathan. Just, uh, how did you... Did you send it to me? I don't even know if you sent it to me. Is it just Dagger Tooth here? Could just be deep root warrior yeah i think it's just two two drop here wayfinder is pretty good here's another dinosaur though yeah that's it and you don't know yeah i'm so confused too like this format's super weird like do i super care about the stupid two drops or do i care about the better cards like wayfinder I'm just going to take Wayfinder here. We only have actually 12 creatures, so. Hey, Daggertooth. Probably better than Frillback. Yeah, I'm not a big nest, nest Robber fan, especially when we have Double Shake the Foundations. I just have no damage, no desire to have X1s in our deck. Even this guy's kind of pushing it. I think Daggertooth is fine, though. How many dagger teeth are we gonna get? I don't know. I don't mind them though. They're just reasonable as far as like life gain goes. Mm, this card's actually fine. All right, so here's our deck so far. Ah, <laughs> uh, crushing canopy is great. That's a fine sideboard card. I don't need another four two. A uh, dual shot is probably going to make the cut in our deck. Take a Bronto Dawn, whatever. Take a Dive Down. All right, so this is our deck, and we just need one cut, it looks like. Yeah, I feel like the other Razor Tooth is just better than the Frill back here. I think the perk of being able to gain multiple life off the Dagger Tooth is. Need to cut one card. Vintage Cube has taken a nose dive. You're right. Did I? Is that what it says up there? Oh, it does. All right, we updated it. My bad. My God, I can't believe it said drafting Vintage Cube. That's so sad. Cut aggressive urge, huh? 
I think that's actually fine considering we have Dinosaur Stampede and I guess that's it. <laughs> I can also see cutting this guy. I don't think this guy's great. And we also have Double Shake the Foundation. I think I like cutting that guy better than I like cutting Aggressive Urge. I think Dual Shot is better as removal. There's a ton of X1s in this format. And uh, you also get to trigger like two things, like make a 1-1, one, one, put a plus one, plus one counter on this guy, gain four life, stuff like that. So, How many creatures do we have? 13. I'm going to go 9-8. Let's see. Yeah, this deck looks great, which means we'll probably go 1-2. We'll lose round one to an Azor or an unbeatable bomb that Red Green simply can't deal with. That is my guess. Hey, we get to we get to play first. What a time to be alive. Yeah, this hand seems fine. We can play pretty much anything we draw, which is nice. Except for that. Here comes a 2-2. No, nothing. Nothing on turn two. All right. Living the dream. Let's see if this guy walks the plank. Play a 2-2. Two -two. Play a boring 2-2 two -two so I can hunt the weak. Gain two life. Attack for four. Well, that is pretty boring. Definitely not hunting that. Capture those dinosaurs, those rumping stuff. Can I get a five drop? Can I get like crested cool? Crested cool. No, oh, that's a fun card. Oh, do that. Oh, dang it. Nope, just the land. Okay. If we hunt the weak here, they can just shoot, and it's a two for two. It's hunt the weak and a, and a dagger tooth for these two. So it's actually a three for one at that point. Come on, dude. Hunting the week, the one one seems terrible, but now it seems actually pretty good because they're going to just take our hunt the week, so. To the surprise of no one. Oh, 
that's unfortunate. Mostly because we play this. This guy doesn't get hit. They sack and kill our guy. We do get to gain four if we'd like. Sure. Hmm. Why are you keeping the chupacabra back? All right, that's pretty good. Well, that was a nice draw. Oh, no attacks there, huh? Okay. That's pretty okay. I feel like I just want blasting cans here. Two cards a turn seems like it's going to win me the game. Beely, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. I don't know what to do here. Long time viewing. Glad. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. If you guys don't uh, know, I also post all these on YouTube. So if you guys want to check them out there, you are welcome and encouraged to do so in case you miss a stream. Thank you so much for the, the support. Really appreciate it. Tinantilanali's tin, crown. That's a real word. What to do, what to do. Do we crown this guy? Make him just a... I don't think we crown this guy. Maybe we do? I also like the idea of uh, crowning and trying to flip this. I also don't like the idea of just letting this guy get... Uh, yeah, I think Crown is probably better served on something else. <laughs> sure. It's the second time this card has wrecked me in the past, like, week. <laughs> Nice. And the problem is if we even hunt the weak last turn to kill something else, like they would have just actually killed our guy in response, which is even worse than just not, than just passing. It'd be kind of sweet if we drew the other shake to foundations and we just double shake to, to wipe these three away. Yep. I guess we're going to 15 here. Sure. Shake the foundations number two one time to wipe the board. A forest. Okie dokie. Hmm. That's old Reggie. Wow, this deck is amazing. <laughs> Dark Nourishment and Pale. <laughs> Ravenous Chupacabra, Kite Sail Freebooter. Seems good. Go to six. Remember that time we were like, wow, this deck looks great. And then we just literally lose to <laughs> any deck with absolute nonsense in it. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Um, sure. Sure. 
kill this, we take five. We take a million. Yeah, we're dead. That was pretty stupid. I mean, we saw one creature with flying, which is their stupid kite sail freebooter. Like, that's annoying, but it's not really worth bringing in a thing for it. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems fine. No blocks. Play another X1. That's where I want to be. Seems good. Nice. Bombard attack for three. Mutiny attack for three, sure. Yeah, it seems good. Pretty sure we just want to shake the foundation during their turn before... Uh... Intriguing. Sure. I'm tempted to just play this next turn and make a 5-5. Five, five. Gets out of the way of dark nourishment. Okay. Alright, now we're going to wait then, because that's pretty insane.
Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, that's uh We didn't wait for attacks because I didn't think he was gonna actually attack with the guy and uh I wasn't sure if there was like a combat trick where like if the guy gets plus two if the guy is like he gets plus one plus oh if he attacks, right? So I don't know if there's a trick that's like deal damage equal to combat. Like I don't know if there's an instant speed fight trick he could use on my guy. So that my guy would take two and then take one more from from Shake the Foundation. So I was actually just playing around something I wasn't sure existed. Like Pounce. I think Pounce is like uh, instant speed, but it's obviously green. They didn't have that. But I mean, I wasn't sure exactly what the tricks were, so I just wanted to kill it while it had one power. Or one toughness, rather. Also, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if there was any combat tricks that are like target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two or something. So it just felt safer to kill it before it was declared as an attacker. That was a good draw. This hand seems good. Interesting. How do they not have any plays yet? I guess Chupacabra comes down next turn. And they just eat one of our guys. To the surprise. Oh, just to impale. Okay. I feel like if you had Chupacabra, you would have played that over Impale because it gives you a better board position. Also, going to the graveyard is better if you top deck a recover, so I'm going to assume you don't also have Chupacabra because they both kill the same thing. But I don't know. We can also play Despot or Pre-Combat and shoot it in order to deal an extra two. Okay. Well, that's actually just fine. Attack you, attack your face, shoot your face, redirect. Oh, she did. All right, maybe we uh, maybe we did better this round than I thought. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Our deck seems great. Their deck seemed fine too. Like they had a bunch of choice cards, but you know, you know how you know how it is. We we reset the February rent meter in case you guys were interested. This hand looks really good. Two drop, three drop, four drop, sure. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, this hand is pretty insane. The what o meter? The rent o meter. It should actually just say Rentometer. Yeah, I was actually surprised. Like, uh, it's funny because like two days ago on YouTube, I posted a video and someone was like, doesn't look like you're going to hit that rent goal, buddy. And uh, that was before like, Brian, that was before your donation. That was before Tonos' donation. And then you guys like donated that night, I think. And then uh, tonight, Bade Waxter 
made that huge awesome donation and I was just like, well, I guess uh I guess that's that. So Yeah, you guys have been awesome. Just super, super awesome. And uh, I could not be more thankful. Also, all subs, don't forget that if you just be sure to... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Connect your Twitch and Discord accounts because the Discord chat that we have going is pretty sweet. I'm a fan of it. So uh, let me get to hang out and chat in the Discord channel. What is our, why, where are the things that our opponents, I don't understand what's going on here. Nothing still? Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Turning memes into dreams is right. Oh, look at this guy. That's unfortunate. I almost want to just cycle shake the foundations here because it doesn't do anything. And we also don't have a play next turn. Well, that's a good card, but it's not really a play. Okay. Sure. <coughs> My opponent is dying and not doing anything. Yeah, it's like, well, what's your plan here, buddy? What's our end game? I think they're dead now. I need an adult. Yeah, this is pretty good. So they go to one here? Is that right? Is that what's happening? Cheshire Pratt, what are you saying right now? What's your what's your really in response to? Well, that's not it, right? I have to sneeze. It didn't come out, and that's just the worst. I'm just going to do this because if they have Divine Intervention and... They, they can go block Divine Intervention this guy. I'd rather just have both these guys get through. What up, Balloon Brigade? Oh, the trade he made. Got it. Yeah, I would have definitely gone for the Dinosaur personally, but... Uh, is Crushing Canopy good here? We saw two creatures and they both flew. So maybe? It might be better than one Shake the Foundation. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We're going to try it out. Hunt the Week plus Sailback. Definitely pretty good. Two counters? Yes, please. Raging Regisaur and Sailback. Also pretty good. Counter every turn? Yes, please. Raging Regisaur and Needletooth Raptor. Also pretty good. Five damage to uh, your things? Yes, please. Nope, don't like this hand. I don't like this hand, but I'm going to keep it because we have a Wayfinder. Some kind of Wayfinder. And a green on top, which we will keep. So we are one land away from... They went to 6-2, so we're, we're doing all right. So we have two turns to hit a land. 
And uh, this hand is pretty good if we do, so. Whoa, we did it. Living the dream. What am I, what did I do? What am I, why am I nuts? Send me your deck list, nerd. Oh, look at that. Fashionably late to the party, buddy. Give me a mountain. Uh, no, you can go in the graveyard. Sometimes you just gotta live that, th that triple forest dream. Mountain now? You know, I'll still take that. <laughs> I'm still okay with it. Get in there. I feel like Crested Herd Caller into Dinosaur Stampede is pretty good. Oh, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, any red land in our hand just kind of explodes, which is pretty nice, but... What is this top part with the five cards? What is that? What am I looking at? Spire Winder. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to get the city's blessing. No, you're not. Okay. The top five cards is the standard magic starter pack. <laughs> nice. Oh, you forgot the. If it were blue, if it were a blue deck, it'd be the Scarab God, too. Oh, I see. Now it's a four or five flyer. That's good. Hmm. Unfortunato. You think they block here? I'm going to find out because I don't think we can win this game if they don't block with something else instead. Just take two. Interesting. That guy actually gets rid of this guy pretty, pretty well. We just need a red source, as you can imagine. So we can go Regisaur into Needletooth Raptor and then attack with the Regisaur and kill off the this idiot. I mean, of course, we need a fifth land or a, gr a green source, a red source. Well, we're not attacking here. This is kind of obnoxious. So we have like two turns right now. Mountain off the top one time. So now we go to four. We play Regisar and we just die. So I think we're, yeah, we're just dead here. And we put the crushing canopy in the graveyard, which is kind of sad. Wow. Fashionably late, to, fashionably late to the party, my friend. I think our deck is great. Uh, I don't think we should have lost that. And uh, I will play first. <sighs> really? I'm going to keep it. It's whatever. They went to six? Okay. Well. How about two drop mountain? I'll take that. All right. Mountain is good. Mountain is good. I didn't want to mull this hand because it's got very strong cards. We need either a fifth land or a mountain, and it's just good. And we got both, so... So now we can just play Regisar next turn. They haven't done anything yet either, so. 
I think this was a good, this is a fine hand. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I don't think it was that loose of a keep. Like, their deck has not been... They now have the super aggressive deck. Like, we played two games, and their deck is not aggressive. <laughs> I mean, I'm just worried about Legion's Judgment, really. And, of course, they have it, so... <laughs> oh, good times. But they also missed the land drop, which is nice. All right. I would love to draw three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd love to draw less than eight lands and more than three spells. But... Doesn't seem like that's the case. Sure. That's a big dude now. We can actually hunt the week here and then just dual shot. Is that good? They could possibly bounce something, so I'm going to put it on this guy. Now we get the little seven. That's okay. I mean, still eight lands, four cards, which is not an ideal ratio, so we're definitely behind here. Okay. Can you equip this turn? Yes, because you have... Multiple treasures. God, 3 5 is so big. Ah, <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time. You almost have to block here. Wow, you go to two? This is where you settle the wreckage. You get to keep your guy, I get to lose both my guys. You play Settle the Wreckage, the rare card. Mm, Ixalan's Binding, sure. That's nice because if I draw Crushing Canopy, I get that guy back. That's pretty cool. Alright, well that's obnoxious. So we attack, they double block. It's not ideal. Uh, I don't know how I feel about standard, to be quite honest with you. Um, I played some of the first standard today. I played a bl the blue white auras deck. Should be going up on YouTube if you guys have not didn't if you didn't catch it. But um, you know, I mean, we went two three. Cool. I'm having a good time. Wow, that's aggressive. I feel like our deck is 100% better than their deck. And, uh... That is a good card. Standard magic starter pack. <laughs> oh. I'm going to just take this and assume you don't have a follow-up. Fingers crossed, I guess. And you do. And it gets the city's blessing. And you have a, another thing. Okay. 
Come on, Dino Stampede. Dino Stampede one time off the top. It's actually not terrible, but it's really not great. They just block here. What if they double block? Does that do anything that we... Is that good for us? It's probably pretty rough. God, where did our... This is unbelievable. They're at two. They have two cards in hand. I mean, on the bright side, we didn't draw any other lands since we... Since our initial eight. But we've still drawn... We've only drawn equal amount. Equal amount of lands, equal amount of spells, so... On the, I mean, our spells have been great. Hunt the Weak, Registrar, Strength, Snapping, Needle. Like, all our spells have been fantastic, so it's hard to say, like, we didn't draw very well, but... I mean, Entrancing Melody on our 5-5 five five is pretty good. Where's that going? Yep, that's what I figured. Yep, go to two, unless you literally have the pump as your last card. Let's talk about how Shake the Foundation would be very good here, or let's talk about how Dinosaur Stampede would be very good here. You know, it's not very good here. That guy. Actually, maybe that guy's fine. Like, we have to attack with this guy. They have to block it, right? So, we can kill off the Spire Winder. I think we're still dead. Like they're they're gonna trample over us and kill us, which is really <sighs> pretty bad. Unless they don't see it. Oh, actually we can block here. We can block here, and then if they hit us with anything, this guy, like this guy just kills them on the And if they move this over here, we can double block and then we can take the one and block like here. So barring a trick, I think we're actually in good shape. Unless this is like the greatest slow roll in history. Which it was not. That's cute. I think that's game. This guy doesn't have haste, right? Just little cutie. It doesn't have lifelink, right? No. <laughs> no. Wow. Whew. Oh my god, dude. I feel like th these games have been closer than they should be.
All right, Dream is still alive. My God. Mother of God. Uh, what was their out on board? I'm pretty sure they didn't have an out on board. Attack with Martyr that dies to get a 1 1 life linker. Sure. Yeah, actually. Hmm. 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 It's not terrible. I think I can keep this hand. I mean, you know what they say, Brian. Knowledge is, or knowing is half the battle, so. This hand is great if we can draw a couple more lands, like three. Oh, look at this little guy. What a little cutie. Oh, you're attacking. Hmm. Can you play another X1 so I can dual shot both of them? That is all I want. <laughs> guy drops 8 drop Elder Beast and then dies to little cutie. That does seem like what happened. Oh, the mirror match, eh? He feels some type of way. All right, well, that's a one-two. I don't like that guy, though. He's not very good. Hmm. I guess we're just playing dinosaurs now because we can... God, Sailback is so good, dude. It doesn't still say Vintage Cube, right? It does say Drafting Rollins Vixalon, right? Yeah, all right, cool. I mean, I will gladly make this trade if you'd like. If you want to spend your turn pumping that guy to trade, then I'm on board. I guess you can also shoot and then two for one yourself, but anything you do here is just fine. That is a fine turn. We both take two. Sounds good. I'm on board with Dino Goats. You didn't think of that, did you? Oh, man. That makes me feel some type of way. Oh, boy. Is this a thing that gets us some value? Do you have aggressive urge? If you do, it's going to be so sad. You don't. All right. And you do. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Whatever, I'll take three. I don't care. Mother of God, your favorite and mine. We can deal 12 next turn. That's pretty good. How 
How about a Hunt the Week? Hardy Veteran. Hmm. Yeah, we could have blocked. I just didn't think he'd have. I didn't think he'd waste a trick on that guy, but I was clearly mistaken. This guy has trample too. Why? Why do you have that? I'm pretty sure we just don't feel safe not blocking here. So we we make a one one, and then we have dinosaur stampede to survive. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the old trample because they weren't loved as a child. Yeah, okay. I think they're dead. So three, four, five. They could block here and here. They still take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's. I have a good feeling about this, guys. I have a good feeling. I've got a feeling. And the night's gonna be a good, good night. Yeah, that's the way the old cookie crumbles. And by cookie, I mean our opponent, Snark Knight. That is a cookie. We have nothing that I really want to board in. <laughs> Maybe a little cutie, but not really. X1s don't seem thrilling when we have Double Shake the Foundation. And we did see one of the 1-1s one -ones and the Nest Invader, so they seem like they have a reasonable amount of X1s. Charging monster sword is pretty terrifying, but. And we know they have an aggressive urge, which we'll have to keep uh, keep in mind. I also really like winning, which is, uh, it's interesting because it doesn't seem like it's very common for me in this format. I'll keep this hand. Oh, they went to six. Oh, went to five on the play. Is this the, the is this the draft we finally three zero? Oh, that's a good start. We have enough mana to cast everything in our deck except for Strength of the Pack, which is nice. Intr oh, that's a little that's a little something something. Intriguing. I want them to play Nest Invader and then put the Strider Harness on it so we can shake the foundation just to can trip and draw a card. And to kill the guy, obviously, but. Hey, Amp Amp 007, who who's D's? <laughs> oh Lord. Alright, well that's a good card. Whammy Man, I'm not sure if you're serious or not, but they will definitely provide lands for you. I'm trying to figure out what our opponent's doing right now because they haven't really done anything. Can you imagine if you get to the GP and they're just like, no, sorry, dude, we, we don't actually have any lands for you.
I'm just waiting for the sale back here, unfortunately. All right, well. I mean, they don't have any plays yet. I don't I don't really know what their hand is. Maybe Colossal Dreadmaw dot deck. Here we go. Colossal Dreadmaw one time. There it is. I feel like it's just shake the foundation time. No blocks. That makes me feel some type of way. Dreadmaw number two. <clears throat> okay, okay. Well, what do we do here, guys? What do we do here? They didn't equip. They did not put the Strider Harness on, which is very interesting. Can anyone confirm what they could have if they didn't put Strider Harness on? This guy cost three, so they could actually equip and still activate this ability. So they want four mana for something very specific. And I don't know what it is. I mean, we're definitely not attacking into this yet. We can just play sail back end of turn, then try to strengthen the pack. Maybe even keep up aggressive urge. I imagine we're just gonna see what it is because I don't think they. It's obviously an instant. It's some kind of instant that they that costs four mana. Oh, hunt the week would have been great. Wow. <clears throat> That was actually fantastic. Okay, so they just wanted they wanted to be able to keep this up and be able to Reckless Rage at the same time. Um, I think this game might be over. We can Snapping Sail back, kill something. All right. So if we play Hunt the Week, what do we do? This guy becomes a 6-6. Six, six, and then we can take out their 6-6. Six, six. This is just a trade. Just, just a bad trade. We can Hunt the Week and Shake the Foundation. Which actually lets us pick off... Yeah, that's that's the play, right? Yep. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Woo, boy. Finally. Finally, finally. Got the 3-0. Our deck was insane. Felt very good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you next time.